Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For you have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Raka, Kodash, for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. As you see in this lesson, I started with Jeremiah 17, verse 4. And the reason why I started with that is to understand that Yahweh made us lose our heritage that he gave us, being Hebrew Israelites, okay? And he used Esau, these devils, to do it, okay? So these elites, the elites of Esau, of Edom, all right, they worked their ass off, man, of taking that heritage from us, okay? Of us not remembering who we were, all right, for years and years and years, man, okay? So this whole thing that they're doing, okay, their existence right now as we speak surrounds Jake. It surrounds us, okay? So if they worked that hard to get our heritage to be a mystery to us, okay, and us not know and us not remember ourselves until now, how scared do you think they are? How scared do you think they are knowing that the only way that we woke up is through the right-hand side? Of your how about you, how shy man? That's the only way, and they know that, man, because like I said, they did everything in their power they could do to make us forget. So how do we just remember out of nowhere? Okay, and learn these scriptures and breaking it down. Okay, breaking down their own downfall. All right, <laughs> on the highways and byways, telling the Rothschilds, the elites, that they're gonna get away, but they're not gonna get away. You're gonna escape the missiles, but we're gonna. Seek y'all out, man. Put y'all in captivity. Man, we breaking this down in front of their faces, man. Okay. So they understand clearly what they're up against. Okay. And that's why they moving. So you can best believe us waking up. Okay. The dry bones waking up. Receiving that life, that breath of life, this word. You can best believe these elites are very nervous. All right. Because they understand that they are working with the left hand side. They understand that. Let's go to Ephesians chapter 6, starting at verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Right, and that's them. All right? They working with the left-hand side demons, man. High-level demons that they working with. And they know it, too. They know it, man. Okay, they know it's a fight uh, against the left and the right, between good and evil. And they know they're on the evil side. All right? So it says against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Right. Spiritual wickedness in high places, man. OK, so they understand the elites. They understand that they are fighting against a power outside of this world. They're fighting against a right hand side power. But that pride in them. OK, they didn't got so prideful, man, that they are willing to put up a fight. OK. That is impossible to win. Okay, it's impossible to win. So they're making their moves right now based off us waking up, based off us teaching this word. Okay, the gospel going throughout the whole world. Okay, you can best believe these elites having conversations, sitting there chilling. Okay, talking about what they're going to do to us, man, because we are the problem. Okay, when we wake up, they know that's a sign of the end. They know they got to hurry up. They know they have a short time based on that alone. Okay, that's a huge sign that they have always known in the scriptures. These elites, okay, because they're high-level witches. It's a huge sign, us waking up, okay, walking on our feet and speaking this gospel. They knew that was a sign to tell them they better hurry up, okay? Now, let's go to verse 13 in Ephesians 6. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of your Habashimabashai, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Right, man, in the evil day. And that evil day is because they know they have a short time. Okay, one of the main reasons they know they got a short time is because we woke up literally out of nowhere. Okay, when they have stripped our whole identity from us, we woke up. So they know it's impossible for us to wake up Okay, outside of the most high doing it. 
that's how good of a job they know they have done. Okay, so we are a huge, huge threat to the world right now. Okay, on a high, high level. Okay, and best believe the elites understand that, man. Okay. They playing chess, now we playing chess. <laughs> hey, how about Shemai Washai playing chess? Okay. And they about to lose. Point blank, period. All right, let's go to James chapter 2, verse 19. Thou believest that there is one God, thou does well. The devils also believe and tremble. So they know, man. Okay, they know the most high up there, man. Okay? Why else would you make a space force if you didn't know? The elites know. Okay, just like Pharaoh knew the things that were happening to him, he knew that was the most high God. He knew it. Okay, he knew he had the witches on his side, but he knew the most high God, the only true God, was on the Hebrew side. He knew that, man. And what did he do? His ass still went through the sea, chasing after the Hebrews, and got his ass took down, him and his whole army. All right? Because ultimately, the Most High put the spirit on him to do that. The same way the Most High is putting the spirit on Esau to be super, super prideful, thinking that he got a chance. You ain't got no chance, man. Okay? Talk about delusions. But like I said, let's read it again. James 2, verse 19. Thou believest that there is one God that does well, the devils also believe and tremble. So, they're very, very nervous and scared right now. <laughs> Trust me, man. They scared, man. They like, oh, shit. They waking up. Oh, shit. This is the end. Okay. We got to do something about this. All right. That's the reality of it. Now, from there, let's go to Psalm chapter 64, verse 2. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. Right. Hide me from the secret counsel, man. Okay. They're a secret council of witches, high-level witches, man. On the left-hand side, they know that. They understand that, okay? It's the majority of Jake who don't know, lost, not understanding what you're up against in the world, okay? But how about Shema Washai has given us an insight on the right-hand side, and they know the Lord has given us their insight. How else will we be able to break it down, these scriptures like this, man? Okay? Knowing the future, the prophecies. Okay, they pay attention, man. They watch us. Trust me. They watching us very close. Okay, they watching us very close. And every time they watch us, they like, Ugh. they get a bad feeling in their stomach. But at the same time, that pride creep up. Okay. You know, they understand that their blessing is war. <laughs> okay, military might. The sword, man. Carnal weapons. But they know we got the spiritual weapon. That's powerful, man. We changing the world, man, through your high boss, your mouth shot. Making them make their moves. <laughs> Straight up. All right? So, in that scripture, it says, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, which is Esau, the elites. When you go to 2nd Edges 16, verse 70, for there shall be in every place in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that for the Lord. Right, man. Okay? So, they coming, man, with their insurrection. All right. And who is setting it up? The elites, man. The secret council. OK, the secret council of Edom. They setting it up because they know they got a short time because we have woken up because we are forcing their hands. That's what you see in what's going on, man. All right. Think about the power in that, man. That's 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 power. OK. From there, let's go to Psalms chapter two, starting verse one. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? Right. The secret council, man. Okay. They're having councils imagining a vain thing. The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord, Yahweh Shai, and against his anointed. Right. Because they believe, they understand. They know they need every ounce of the left hand side power that's not going to work. But in their mind, they're going to try to make it work. Against who? Against the Habash Shemal Shai and against his anointed. Right. The prophets. Okay. Those men out there across the globe that's spreading the gospel. Okay. Letting them know it's over. Okay. They got a problem with that. Because they know it's a real threat to the new world order, to what they want to do, man. To what they work hard to do. 
their wickedness. Okay, it says they practice the wickedness upon their beds. All right. But it's coming to an end. So it says against his anointed saying, let us break their bands asunder and cast away the cords from us. Now, why would they have to do that unless they understood the seriousness of it, man? If we just regular guys out there just talking, they wouldn't have to do nothing, man. But no, they got to have secret counsels. OK, discuss us about what they're going to do against the Lord and his anointed man. Showing you they believe. OK, the devils also believe they know. OK, we are a huge threat, brothers, man. OK, that's why they're going to come now with great wrath, man, because that's how big of a threat we are. That's why it's going to be a time that's never been seen before on the earth, because that's how huge the threat that we are. OK, think about that, man. All right. Verse four. He that sitteth in the heaven shall laugh. <laughs> right. Because he controls both sides. The Lord shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasures. And that's what we telling them through the spirit. We telling them that, man. OK, so understand this, man. What you're seeing in the news, what you're seeing that's happening and the prophecies moving forward is moving forward because we waking up. OK, because like it speaks about the elect being sealed. What does it say? When the elect is sealed, then the angels that's bound in the um, river Euphrates, man, going to let it go, man. They're going to let it loose and all hell going to break loose. So they know that that's linked to the end. Us waking up. OK, is linked directly to their fall. OK, these are high level witches we talking about. They know what's going on. All right. They're just delusional thinking they're going to win. <laughs> like in the movies. Now, nah, you ain't, ain't going to win, man. If a force come down from heaven, your ass is grass. All right. So with that, I hope you were edified. I want to give our praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakha Kodash. Forgive me the spirit to do this lesson. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to you. I come at this doing the truth and sincerity. Shalom.